Hi everyone, John Davenport here from Fogarabali.com and uh, a little embarrassing here, but you know, the last video I uploaded, the volume was a little wonky, so I thought I'd redo it for you. Um, I'm going to redo this entire edit from scratch. As you know, uh, if you watch that video, it's basically I'm um, trying to create kind of a fake-ish HDR feel in Lightroom alone. Now, um, on that video, this is going to be kind of a unique video because I did get a couple questions on it. So. Yeah, HDR usually is um, three images or five images or seven. You know, you, you have your underexposed portion, your midtone portion, and then your um, overexposed portion, and then you blend it all together in a program like Photomatix or any of those other HDR programs out there. Um, and you're basically able to bring the highlights out as well as keeping some of the shadows. And uh, it's a really cool process. But in Lightroom, you don't have access to multiple layers. You can't do layer masks in the, in the same sense that you can in Photoshop. So we can't really do that. But what we can do, as I did in the previous video, was, you know, you just go through and you kind of fix the image as best you can. And that's, you know, a lot of what I do in general is um, I will, you know, drop the exposure of an area um, using the graduated filter like I'm doing right now, or um, add contrast to a specific area, or change the white balance using an adjustment brush. But to get that HDR feel, um, you know, I, I usually feel like it's very, HDR photos to me, they kind of pop off the screen. They're very uh, in your face almost. So I usually go crazy with the contrast, uh, I'm sorry, the clarity slider here. So I'll just run through this edit really quickly. As you saw, I just dropped in a graduated filter and I dropped the exposure here of the sky a little bit. Um, I also raised the overall exposure of the photograph a bit uh, just to, you know, kind of get things to get things kind of started here. I'm also going to increase the contrast of the photo because who doesn't like to, you know, punch up the contrast a little bit, especially when you're going with an over-the-top kind of uh, processing here. I'm going to drop the highlights down because I really want to show the drama in the sky, and I feel like dropping the highlights really will bring that detail back in. And then as I do that, I do notice that there's three little death spots here, so I'm just going to quickly clone those out. Um, so that's really easy. Uh, if you want to see more on the clone tool, look at Let's Edit number 8, I believe. It's all about how to use the clone tool. Um, really cool stuff there. So to go a little further with this, now as you can see, we're, we're just, you know, basically uh, getting started with this edit, but what we need to do is really bring out the uh, over-the-topness that comes a lot with HDR as you when you think of HDR I mean yeah some of the real um, close to reality HDR is probably what I really like most um, but you can't really do that with um, just one raw file so we're gonna kinda go to the uh, more artistic side of HDR and I'm gonna add a little bit of shadow detail here uh, drop the whites down just a little bit and I'm going to drop the blacks down just a little bit as well. And now here's where the fun begins. We're going to go down to this Presence tab here. And I'm going to increase the clarity pretty much all the way. I'm probably going to go maybe 90 or so. I'm also going to increase the vibrance a little bit. Uh, maybe about 30 or so. And I'm going to increase the saturation just a touch. Maybe about 10. And this really will make the colors start to pop as well as bring out all those details in this photograph. And you can see it's doing that right now. So now, one of the things I, I like to do um, once I get kind of a general idea of where the photograph is, is come up back up here to the white balance and just see what else we can do here. So, you know, the auto white balance looks pretty good, but I, I think I, I'm going to go a little warmer. And I'm actually even going to add a little bit of magenta into it. And that's basically by just um, bringing your tint slider up a little bit. You can bring in that magenta, bring in those pinks and purples uh, a little bit more. But um, I don't really like it on the dock. I'd, I'd rather keep the dock a little cooler and also a little less pink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here with an adjustment brush. And I'm just going to paint in on just the dock here really quickly. 
and then you can use the adjustment brush for things other than controlling exposure. You can use it for, say, controlling your white balance. So I'm going to come over here to my temperature slider, and I'm going to reduce the temperature a little bit. And I'm also going to take some of those pinks back out of it and uh, kind of make it look more like wood and less like uh, some weird combination of pink, pink and yellow. and You know, it just didn't look right to me, so... I think this looks a little better. And now, finally, I'm going to come down to my HSL tab, and I'm going to remove a little bit of the blue, and maybe bring in a little bit more red, and a little bit more purple, just to kind of, you know, emphasize that. I'm also going to do one other thing here. I'm going to drop the highlights a little bit more because I think they were a little strong right in this particular area. I'm going to come in with another adjustment brush though and I'm going to paint in right on the highlights here that you can see in the water. And I'm going to drop those just a little bit just to kind of you know bring them back in. They were a little too bright, a little too in the face, so I'm just going to bring them down just a touch there um, just to kind of clean it up. And then finally I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do a 16 by 9 crop because um, I think it works really well with this uh, particular photograph. Let's just um, center it up a little bit there and there we go. So, you know, I, I again apologize for the terrible audio issues in that first uh, issue of Let's Edit number 11, but I, I really wanted to make it up to you. so. Here, this hopefully sounds a lot better, and I hope you guys can understand what I'm doing. Again, if you have any questions or comments, please comment below. And if you did like this video, please click the like button. Um, even if you liked the other one, uh, this one I hope is better, and I hope it explains it a little more. Again, just just in case you're wondering, here's where we started, and here is the after image. And I will leave you again with this question: What are your thoughts on HDR? Do you like this style? Um, do you like these over-the-top kind of process uh, images that are clearly photoshopped or, you know, in this case, lightroomed, if you will? Um, you know, we're going over the top. We're really pushing the limits of reality here um, and to the point where, you know, you're creating what you wish the image looked like or what you wanted it to look like as opposed to what was actually there. So do you like that style of photography? Do you think it still is photography? Um, and what are your thoughts? Leave a comment below and let me know. Again, I'll be back next week and I will try and avoid the audio issues in the future. Thank you for watching this Let's Edit video. And uh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Have a good week and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.